We are Siouxland Proud. This is KCAU 9 News at 10. And good Thursday evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tim Seaman. And I'm Sophie Erber. Russian forces have set their sights now on capturing some major Ukrainian cities, increasing civilian targets along with the death toll. Ukrainian soldiers and civilians are fighting back, though. But is it, uh, it is still unclear how long they can hold out. That's our top story tonight at 10. Ukrainian forces say they were able to fight off Russian soldiers in this town on the outskirts of Kyiv. Drone video shows several burnt-out Russian military vehicles, but it also shows the devastation this town has suffered. Many civilian apartment buildings were damaged or completely destroyed. Ukrainian officials say so far, Russia's war has killed more than 2,000 people. After eight days of fighting, a senior U.S. defense official says Russian forces have fired 480 missiles at Ukraine. President Vladimir Zelensky was asked how much more of this his forces can take. What is your honest battlefield assessment of how long you can hold on? I think nobody who is here doesn't know. After a second round of ceasefire talks, the Russian and Ukrainian leaders say that they've agreed to open humanitarian quarters so that Ukrainian citizens can leave. However, no agreement on ending the attacks has been reached.